welcome everybody to my latest video. So for this video, we're going to try Robocop on the Pandora's Box 4S. Alright, so... Let's see what we got going on here. Hmm. Let me try and turn up the volume because it's really low. Alright, sorry about that. That's one of the problems with these Pandora boxes. Some games play really good, uh, sound-wise. Others, it's just, you know, not that great. There's too much uh, difference in the volume from one game to another. Okay, there's no sound when you press the punch button or the jump, jump button. It's just when he lands. Um, I can't remember if that's how it's supposed to be. Definitely some sound issues here. Got me. All right, let's see. Here we are. Oh, and Robocop is now. Well, there he is. Thank you for your cooperation. Guess I'm just supposed to go down? Apparently so. Not really having fun playing this, but um, yeah, we'll keep going. Oh, guess that's it. Oh no. Oops. Just gotta insert the coin real quick. Go 
Wow. I remember this one. Interesting little bonus round there. I think the first time I ever actually played this game was on a little cocktail cab. Trying to follow the movie, you know, can't blame them. Yeah, yeah the game definitely, I think, has issues. I never owned the original hardware, so I don't know, but um, th there are some sound issues. There are some control issues, but I don't think it's an issue per se, as in bad emulation. I think it's just the way the game was built. So like, you know, it's almost as I'm thinking the original hardware has the stiff controls. But, I mean, you know, I guess if you're a Robocop fan and you can't find the original hardware, you can get a Pandora's box. Um, but yeah, it's just not for me. But there you are. If you have any questions, let me know. If you have any requests, let me know and I'll try and get them done. Um, but yeah, Robocop on the Pandora's Box 4S. Until next time. That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over. <laughs>